All right, guys, quick question. This is about R. Kelly. Can we really black out R. Kelly's music all the way? I was just chilling. And then, you know, The Chocolate Factory was my favorite album ever <laughs> by him. So, no, actually, he had a few, but The Chocolate Factory was a really good album. So, you know, the song like popped in my head. So, are we not, we not allowed to, are, are we singing his music in our head or are we just like, nah, R. Kelly is dead? What about him? What are your thoughts? What are your feelings on the music? Like, do you still listen to his music? I mean, it's a huge part of Black American music. It is what it is. Like, R. Kelly was the man back in the day. And it's unfortunate. Like, what are we going to do about the music? I mean, this man has... That music, people have gotten married. People have had parties, major events, babies, all kind of stuff. But the music was phenomenal. And um, what about the music? Can we support the music without supporting the man? Because if you think about it, y'all, all those shows that we watch on Hulu and Netflix, we don't know who's producing those shows and what they're doing. We have an idea of what's going on. You know, after some stories come out years later, so you know there's all kind of funny shit going on. So we still watch the movies. So are we really blacking out R. Kelly all the way? Or are we just like, is it just R. Kelly and not the music? Because to me, that means we would have to black out everything. Oh my God. And have you guys checked out Trigger Warning with Killer Mike? It's on Netflix. So... You know, he has a whole bunch of different scenarios. I've only gotten through two episodes, but he is really funny. Um, the first episode, <clears throat> excuse me, was about only using Black-owned products. You know, so all day was just Black-owned, Black-owned, Black-owned. And, you know, he couldn't he couldn't get a ride unless it was from a Black-owned transportation company. Um, he couldn't eat any food unless it was black owned. He did finally find a black owned restaurant, but he couldn't eat there because the food that was purchased was not from a black farm. He then went and he found a black farm. So basically what Killer Mike is doing is going around and digging deeper into social issues to enlighten the people. Things that we could be watching instead of, you know, doing drama and nonsense. So yes, check out Killer Warning with Killer Mike. That is hysterical. It's hysterical. You know, he shines a light on social issues, but he he gives it a funny spin, but you get the reality and the weight of what's going on. So if you want to open up your mind, check out Trigger Warning with Killer Mike on Netflix. Deuces.